From the shores of Lake Geneva to the halls of Gary Khan, summon all geeks! It's time for the Mythwits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest, not this week, uh, to talk about the ever-expanding Geekoverse and to play a game with us. But I think Mike and I will be playing with ourselves this week. Oh, uh, yeah. We do, our, yeah, we do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. I'm your host, Peter Bryant, and this week uh, I am joined by my partner in crime, Mike Kafis. Uh, I'd like to pour a little out for your computer tonight. Jesus uh, Christ. Just wanna... Here, oh, maybe God. you need some of this. You need some? <laughs> oh, man. Dude. So, uh, for any of you all watching, we are late. Yeah, we're obviously late. And, uh, man, my computer, it just, it was like, like, uh, uh, and I was like, get out and push, you know? And, like, vroom, 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 vroom. and um, your man, computer said, like, get out, we'll see. Yeah, I know, right? So I'm like, I like the thing won't go. Like, like this stuff is stuttering. And, and Mike's like, man, you sound like, uh, what do I sound like? Like, like a staticky, jumpy, whatever, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to say that you sound like that now, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> Go. Okay. You were saying? What? Oh, what? Anyway, so my computer was just running like like what? utter crap. What? Yeah, you sound good on the on the feed, so it's not. It's just whatever connection that you and I have, I get staticies. Huh? That's weird. All right, anyway. Me. So it was running like crap, and I had to like. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, is it updating? You know, without telling me. You now Windows does that shit sometimes, where it's just like, yeah, we're gonna update now. I that I didn't say we were gonna update, but we're just gonna do that. And I'm not even gonna tell you we're updating. We're just gonna do it in the background and piss you off because your computer is just gonna run like crap, and you're not gonna have any. You're not gonna have any idea why. And um, but it wasn't that. I hit. You know, I went to the control, uh, the task manager, which took like. Well, I don't know, three, four minutes to get into. And you hit control, delete, nothing happens. Control, delete, nothing happens. After a while, fucking thing just boink, pops up. Like, oh, oh, there you are. Um, yeah, and it wasn't updating in there. And all of a sudden, uh, I see a whole bunch of McAfee things lit up, right? So I go into the little bar and I hit McAfee and it's like, we're now running a live scan on your computer as you scheduled. It's like, no, bitch, I did not schedule anything for Monday night at nine o'clock. Trust me. That is the one time I don't schedule anything, and um, except well, except for this show. Uh, but yeah, it was running and it was just tearing the ass out of my computer. Like it was just like resources. So tearing that ass up. Yeah, I was trying to shut it down and it was like nah, hmm, nope. It's like because there's a button on there that says stop scan, right? So like I think that's just like like a ha ha. Like I think I swear I think there's somebody on the other end. He's like oh look look he's, he's gonna push it. Go push it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, click, click, <laughs> click. You should have made it like one of those things where you like every time you try and hit the hit the yeah. button, it moves. It, like, it click. moves away from the mouse. It would have been click. the same thing. <laughs> so then I'm like, all right, bitch. I go into task manager. I'll shut you down in here. And the computer's like, no, we're kind of with him. So uh, so yeah. So anyway, finally got the shit all shut down. I rebooted my computer again, and um, and we're good to go. Oh. Well, welcome everybody. We uh, we got Robert Wood in the chat room. We got David hanging out with us, and uh, I think I saw my baby in there a little while ago. Mom mm -hmm. might be um, here. Mom was. Uh, we saw her making comments <laughs> in, on another video. We think maybe she thinks she's watching us live. So, oh, uh, God. age, Mom, age is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you get get to see us at some point, Mom. Love you, baby. Uh, so, God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, we are the tech wits for sure. Um, so, all right, let's just dive into this because, yeah. unfortunately, I was not able to make it to Gary Khan, but you did. You you uh, you weathered the financial storm, yeah. <laughs> and, and and you went and you made it. You bastard! You even lost weight. I don't know how that would have happened. Not on my watch, but anyway. <laughs> he you... texted me. I lost like five pounds when I was there. I'm like, you did not do that right. <laughs> Right. No, I, dude, I, I actually, I think I lose weight almost at every convention because I'm always running. I don't eat right. I don't have enough time to eat. And like at the conventions, because there's so many people, the restaurants, 
Uh, and I understand they have to do this. I totally get it. They have to limit the menu. We're going to make these six or ten things, and that's it. Yeah. Um, so I didn't pretty much like most of the six to ten things on the menu, and um, I just wasn't having it. Like they had, all right. So I was just like, I was like, oh, I think I'll have the, um, the French dip tonight, right? And I was like, I'll try that. Mm. That that sounds good. And it comes out, and the thing is like, it's like a cheesesteak almost. You know, it's not like a roast beef sandwich with au jus. It was, Algae. right? It was like this greasy, like, cheesesteak, which I'm not saying it was bad. You know, I mean, like, I love a cheesesteak, but I just wasn't in the mood for that. I wasn't in the mood for anything heavy at the moment. And I get this thing that is just like, you're going to dip this in the deep fryer. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Put that on your sandwich. Now, I'm going to give you some of this as you, and the as you going to be all greasy, too. So just dip that right in there. I was like, <laughs> ugh. Ugh. So I wound up not eating a whole lot. And I only wound up eating like two meals a day anyway. I skipped uh, lunch because I was so busy running around. Yeah. Um, I all thought right, I'd make so, it up on all the alcohol, but it didn't happen. All right. Well, I'm just going to ask questions as they as they fly up and hit me because we didn't, we didn't really make a list. So right. did you see anyone that I remembered from the time that we were there? So I'm going to say, did you see Pat Kilbane? Was he there? Check. Okay. How about I, didn't get the, to, I didn't get oh. to talk to him because the one time I saw him, he was really busy with a whole bunch of people mm. and I didn't want to be rude. Okay. And for anyone else who doesn't know or just joining us and didn't see our last time we talked about this or talked with Cat Pat Kilbane, he is from Mad TV. Uh, he was the coffee, too much coffee guy, among other things. And he also does some stuff in the uh, role playing community. He's working on a film, or uh, he was working on a film um, as well, right? Yes. Yes. So, he okay. is. Well, I think, so, yeah, something like that. He's got his yeah. channel, Dorks of Yore. And he is oh, working yeah, on a right. documentary of some kind. Yeah. Plug. Ding. So. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, what about the guy that we played that we met in? We, we never knew who he is because we never really got in, in touch with him with the beard. And I oh, think no, 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 you never know who he is. I know exactly who he is. Yeah, Eric yeah. Well, Frank well, House. Yes. And and Eric and I actually spent a lot of time together. We uh, we got to talk in one night. I think it was Friday night. We were like bullshitting about stuff. I was like, hey, remember? He's like, oh, yeah, totally. And uh, I was talking about the game and stuff. And then um, it was late. And I'd kind of lost James and everybody. Everybody else kind of teetered off. James actually ghosted me that night, I think, because <gasps> he was no, 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 dude. He was he was really fucking tired, and he had had a rough day. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Just don't forget, put a pin in that. Ask me about James's rough day because it's a funny okay. story. So, um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm there talking to Eric. I'm like, oh, hey, what's, you know, and it was getting to be about maybe close to one o'clock, and I'm th I'm thinking, hey, I might catch some sleep tonight. I might actually get a little bit of sleep tonight. And uh, nope, Eric's like, hey, I got some beer. <laughs> I got some beer upstairs. Why don't you, let's go upstairs and drink. I'm like, ah, sure. So I go upstairs, and then Eric, he, he's all, he's an awesome dude. I really like him, and we just got the fucking talking. He does podcasting and recording, and you know, and he does artwork and uh, you know, game design and stuff. So you know, he and I are just like for like the next two hours, just chewing oh, each other's ear off about design and equipment and recording and you know, and yeah, just concepts. You probably talked so much you didn't even get drunk, probably, right? Oh no, I got, I was, I was probably oh, okay. I, look, I, every night I did. There was no night that I walked home, like, like sideways, you know. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And I was fine. I, matter of fact, the only thing I had in the way of hangover in the morning was just kind of like feeling a little off and tired and. You know, th that's about it. I didn't didn't even really wake up with any headaches or anything. It was I was actually pretty good. So mm. I didn't I didn't drink too much. I just it just you know you you start drinking at five and you stop drinking at three a.m. and it's like you don't get really. F I wasn't really getting fucked up, but man, it was wearing down on me. Yeah. Hey, man, we're old. You know what I mean? It's like you can't, we can't do what we used to do. But yeah, Eric gave me some really good feedback on on Cuba Death, and I'm gonna make some changes because of it. Um, wow! And, it, and right. yeah, and it was, but it was good. It was really good feedback, and like the cards are getting bigger now. I've decided I'm not going with playing cards. I'm going to go with either either tarot cards or even index cards, which are just a tiny bit bigger than tarot cards, maybe. Wow! No, no, it's it's good. It's good. It'll be better. It'll okay. Be better. So that was why, because there was this plan to do the Kickstarter launch. But I guess mm -hmm. that's why that's you were telling me you were going to explain that. Is that basically it? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's basically. It. And um, let's see what else was going to change about it. Oh, I'm moving the treasures off of one of the, the cards because I had one of the cards was like the harder card. And if you got asked that one that you'd get a treasure. Right. Um, but I've decided that it would be better if I didn't do that. I'm going to put the treasures on the cards 
with the room because one of the things that bothered me was is like I'd make these rooms up and then it's a random treasure, right? Mm-hmm. So then the treasure wouldn't even fit the room, you know, like like yeah, you, you go into, you know, the 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 latrine or whatever, right? And and you answer the harder question. And, uh, you know, you get like this scepter of something and it's just like, well, did the wizard drop it in the fucking toilet or something? I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I, it just, it just, it, it helps me make the rooms more like, I don't know, makes them better. You know what I mean? And not only that, the treasures go with the room so that if I do like a space deck or something like that, you know, I can have like a space thing with, with space, like laser guns and shit instead of, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so that, that's the idea. Okay. Now, uh, do you want to talk about any behind the scenes or any, uh, I guess, inside baseball about what is about to happen or with what? Um, just with uh, Cuba Death, what, with the Kickstarter? I mean, I know you've talked about it a little bit, but. I could talk about it a tiny bit. Um, so I'm yeah. So it's it's probably going to be about another month before I can really announce the uh, announce the Kickstarter because um, I'm going to go back and do a little bit of redesign. Uh, I got to finish doing. Oh god, so all, all these maps and questions. Oh, I'm also going to be adding uh, three categories to the to the simple card instead of two. That was one of the suggestions. They're like, they were like, look, you know, they give it more playability that way. So when they hit the card again, it's only a one in three chance they'll get the same question. It'll just open it up to be more playable and and, and be able to run long, run the run the deck more times. Oh yeah, and that way because you're running like with the amount of cards that you've had with the amount of questions, I guess that would be a good idea. Yeah. I got plenty of questions. Like I, that's not yeah. a problem. I just got to do some redesign. Um, and then, so, you know, well, let me th- ask you this. talk do about you, it more. You feel like there's going to be a chance for expansion cards, like for people who not yeah. for people who want to play like the, my favorite version of it, which is like the bar game, but for people who want to play like the, I don't know what we're going to call it, like the level two, the, just the, the, uh, I guess the dungeon crawl, version yeah, of it I, I call it quest mode yes so right, there's in, quest right. mode and then there's like blitz blitz is the car this is the bar okay mode. all right so in quest mode uh are you going to be able to have it so that you could have multiple adventures you'll be able to have like a booster pack for this adventure and that you know what i mean like you've already yeah. almost written them right i mean come it, on let's kind of all right so the so the fantasy pack is going to have the, the the plan is the fantasy pack is going to have like uh, 50 cards that are dedicated to like a dungeon. So like, right. you know, proper walls and everything like that. And then the other 50 are going to be more like a cavern or more like a, a chaotic type of dungeony thing. Um, so that you'll have two different types of fantasy adventures to run in there and it'll be 50 cards each. So if you run with say three players and you go to the 10 rooms, you're only going to use 30 of those cards. So the next time you play, you'll get, you'll probably hit different rooms and stuff. Um, and then with the, and then you could say, well, we'll run the caverns next time. Um, but I mean, you can replay them because it's not like, you know, knowing what's in the room does anything. You still have to answer the trivia question. So, mm-hmm. but, but I know what you mean for, for flavor. And yeah, but, um, I do, I, I plan on having expansions and I, and I'm thinking that that's why this will work. That's why it's work out really good that they're completely separate from the rest of the deck. So that you'll have the the quest cards, which will be a hundred cards, and then it'll come with eight heroes. So that'll be a, it's a double deck. So one hundred eight cards is two times fifty four. So that's a double deck. So double deck. So uh, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't help myself. So so you'll have you'll have the, the the fantasy double deck, and then you know in the future, or if I decide to do it as a as an add on or, or stretch goal, I haven't figured that out yet because I got I got to work on the cost. But you know you can have like the space deck and mm-hmm. the weird west deck, and it would basically just be double deck cards, which have a standard tuck box. They have a stand, you know, it's just it's a standard thing. So it'll be it won't be real expensive because I'm not buying I'm not having to have them make something that's you know that's new. Hey, uh, can I ask you something? Hmm? You gonna have a pulp deck? Yeah, pulp. if I, you know, that you can pulp. be beat on. Have a nice pulpy deck. Yeah, like pulp deck. Yeah, pulp deck. Beat yeah. that thing to a pulp deck. Just... Get it? Yeah. Our deck. Our deck. <laughs> Our deck. <laughs> Back. God. So inside. I love it. Inside, all right. Inside. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, all right. So that's what's going on there. Uh, I was just kind of monitoring the chat a little bit. There's like a. I'd say we have. Enough people here that uh, we we could play test. You know, we have enough friends here that we could play test, 
and uh like nicole's look she said she'd like to help play test more and i know we could get david on and here's, here's what i'm thinking just as like just what the fuck bonus content gets us out there and yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> We Lara can, Cole's, um, hey, by the way, Larna Cole is calling us out. <laughs> She's like, yeah. boys, 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 boys. You're right, hey, Lara. Hold, you're you're, you're deck. right. Come on. Stop it. Come you're on. right. <laughs> Come on. We're, so we're, anyway. Yeah. Um, so I say, like, we just pick a night. We get a couple people together, and you just run us through something just for playtesting purposes. Sure. I think we, we that. should do that in the next month. You know what I mean? Get a handful of our best friends on. Sure. Yeah. What the fuck? Fantastic. I like it. We, Let's do it. We stream it. It's free content done right and if uh if i you know i'll if i can swing it maybe i'll uh i'll get we'll do it after i get everybody who's gonna play do i need to get no i don't need to get them anything never mind i was gonna say i could get them send them some stuff for it but they don't need anything for it eh, they can just play no, 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 I mean, no they can just they can just play they won't need it okay good good let's do that done it's all done right. all right so um uh, i don't it, it, i'm gonna just here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run through uh, just sort of a uh, a narrative of what would happen when you get to the con and da 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 da. You tell me. You stop me when you're like, "Oh, I got a story." Okay. All right. So, so start at my house. Okay. So you're at your house. <laughs> you're at your house. You're trying to get the hell out, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, you're you're getting into. Oh, oh, hold on. Where did you fly? Oh, you flew out of a BWI because you didn't yep. have to drive up to Philly, which for you it's the same freaking uh Distance. amount of yeah. miles i'm it's as close boggles to my Philly. mind i'm as close to philadelphia airport as i am to baltimore's airport oh. boom dogs yeah so anyway so all right so there's a story here before you left the house or as you're leaving the house or whatnot what's going on yes oh no 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 i'm sorry i wanted to start at the house but but the house is fine house was fine so i get I, I get out of the house, drive up to the airport, or drive down to the down to the airport because it's down on the map, right? right? Drive down to the airport, no sweat. Park my car, get into the airport, no problem. Check my bag. Uh, Southwest got this new thing where you check your own bag in a at this machine, but of course it fucking didn't work for me. Anyway, so check my bag, get on the plane. It's great. Arrive, no right. problem. No yeah. way, right? So then. I open up Uber. First time I've ever used it. Summon a car. Come Summon. to me. Some come to me car. <laughs> right. right. Well, it's pretty cool if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So uh, I push a button on my phony, my phony gig, and a car comes. Right. But I've said I've never used it before. So it says it has this little map on there, and it says send the car to your location. Agree? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Click. So I'm assuming that the pin that they put on the map is where I'm standing. Oh no, no, you you get to adjust that. You get to yeah. you get to put that exactly see, where you are. See, see, I didn't know this. Yeah, <laughs> see, noob, you never right, right, noob. total noob, total noob. <laughs> so I'm standing there, and a person calls me and is like, "Hey, I'm I'm here. Where are you?" I'm like, "I'm here. Where are you?" <laughs> oh no, <laughs> right. God. Anyway, so I had to tell her I was at the airport. She's like, "Oh, that's." A little ways away she's like all right i'll be there so she was cool real cool sport i gotta give it to her really she was she was awesome about five ten minutes later she pulls up great instinctively i jump in the back seat which i shouldn't have done because you know me with the car sickness uh, right mm -hmm. i mean i typically go in the back seat if i'm just <sighs> yeah yeah well anyway you know, you, i so mean I, I guess you don't have to i i guess i would typically ask and i don't know what, what do you guys think who's who's watching do you guys if you're going to Uber, do you ask to sit in the front or do you just entitle yourself to the front? I don't know. That's a good question. But go ahead. So you, you're know. in the back seat getting all, right. my <laughs> tummy. Right. Oh, yeah. well, and I also just flew on a plane, right? So I don't really get most of the complaints too much. But, it, you know, it's still like I got off the plane. I was fine. But it's kind of like, you know, oh, we're going to push this, are we? Okay. Sure. Sure, Mr. Pete. All right. So I get on the thing. I'm in the car. It was about, I don't know, 40 minutes in the car, you know, going from, from O'Hare to, or going from Midway to O'Hare. Um, and I was just like, dude, like the last 15 minutes, I'm just like, oh my God, please just get to the airport. Right. <laughs> so I got there, I get out. And I'm just like, I don't feel so good. And I went in and James was right there. He'd already landed. He had just come in, you know, and he didn't have to sit and wait very long, which was good. 
Uh, he was worried that he was going to have to sit and wait for hours just like like the last time. <laughs> so he and I hung out for a couple hours while we waited for his friends. I wait, wait, wait. Little... Time, I'm going to okay. stop you right there for a second. Would you rather have got a little car sick or had to pull out so much goddamn fucking change for every five inches you okay. were going to get from okay. one place to the other? What, what would you rather have done? I mean, eh, just just curious. I don't know. They were both as painful. <laughs> so so James and I hung out. His friends show up, and his friends are really cool. Uh, John, uh, Michael, and and Ingleheimer and Schmidt. John, Mike, John, Michael. Anyway, uh, uh, it'll come to me. Um, yeah, like that guy so, I can never remember. Right. So Jason ra- arrives. Jason ra- arrived as well. And in between, those guys get in there. We hung out with Jason for a little bit. Uh, so then we're get, we're all getting ready to leave, and Jason was like, "Well, hey, uh, I'm gonna go rent a car." And he's like, "Does anybody want to ride with me?" Because you know I don't have anybody riding with me anyway. He's like, "I can ride by myself," but you know. So I was like, "No, I'll ride with you." So that was cool. So I, I rode with no, Jason. Wait, you, you guys didn't get some Chicago deep dish. You know, you no. didn't do that. So, so we get to let's not let's not stretch this out any further than it has to be. I know it's a terribly interesting story. So, Jason and I around to the hotel, no problem. Um, of course, he had to stop. He's looking for this soylent. He's on the soylent thing. You know what that is? Uh, it hit me. Uh, right, it's a guy. This guy created this drink that has all your nutrients in it, uh, so you don't have to eat food. You just drink this shit. You can drink it three days. A, you can drink it three meals a day, and you don't ever have to eat food again. Huh. Doesn't right. totally work, but anyway, at least I don't think it does. I, Jason's a—he's a fan. He's a fan of it. So, anyway, he likes it. So Jason and I uh, get back to the hotel, and then I told—I uh, told Drake, I was like, I can't, I can't do it. I can't go to Frank's party. Mm. And he's like, he's like, what? Why not? And and you know, because because I wanted to go. I mean, I flew in. I flew in Wednesday night. To go yeah, to that to party, go. right? Yeah, yeah. No, dude, I was just too. I, I was like, I can't sit in a car again. Cause you remember how far Frank's is from from mm-hmm. from the hotel, right? I mean, it's a good yeah, drive. I do actually. It's good. And I was, there, I was like, I was yeah. like, I just, I can't sit in a car anymore. I'm done. I was like, I really want to go, but I, I just can't do it. Mm. So I had to stay at the place. So I, I did. I was able to get out of the bar and start drinking, cause that's not moving in a car. Um, so that's what I right. did. I just hung out. Stationary at a bar. Could you right. in a car or stationary at a bar? So we hung out. Uh, and then that was it for that night. And then so then that was the trip there. So, kids, what have we learned here? What we've learned is if you want to be a real dickhead to Pete and you don't care about the interior of your car, just drive all just. <laughs> oh, God. No, I will puke on you. <laughs> so that's what that. I mean, that's my takeaway, but then again, I just. Uh... It'll be like yeah. burping a baby. <laughs> yeah. It's fucked up. Okay, so you get there, you're, you're exhausted, and, and that's, I mean, I remember even from last time, uh, we didn't quite recover from Total Con, and it was already time for Gary Con, and. I kind of feel like you were you had that same thing going on, and so I, I, no, I don't think anybody's mad at you. And you know, you had you already had the experience of Frank's party. Yeah. You know, you didn't you didn't get to reach into the cauldron of dice and pull out another you know couple of uh, freebies from the old the old stash. What yeah. is that? The old uh, cast of all those old die. Yeah, it was the original. Yeah. It was I think it was the original red box twenty sided. He had right. purple, yeah. like this dark blue and this orange one. And I, uh, I got a couple from last time I was there, so that was cool. Yeah. All right. So, um, <laughs> like fat bastard David does. This I don't is... even know what it reference to other than soyant green, soyant something. Kind but anyway, all right. Oh, and oh, that's right. And and Scott was even saying, and and uh, shout out to Scott from um, Dark Phoenix last week's show. Uh, he's he's also hanging out in the chat. So, but he was saying because you were still suffering from an in between of con crud, and you had like just gotten over that too, right? Uh, no, no, actually, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, that that would be part of the story of going there. I got a sinus infection, so on on Wednesday, no, third Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, I was I was at work and I had to leave early to go to the doctor uh, oh. because I had I was just like I woke up in the morning and my head was like 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 there was a 
a brick trying to crawl out through the front of my face. Right. And uh, so I went to urgent care and they gave me antibiotics, told me I had a sinus infection, told me to take some mus you know, was it Mucinex D? Mus is that it? Mucinex? Anyway, yeah, so I got I got all this medicine and stuff and um uh I had to take that. But it was fine. I got a little bit like my head started to like at first, it was like somebody had stuffed a, a a hose up my nose and was blowing on it like a balloon. Like my yeah. head was, right? But I uh, I did the thing where you, you hold your nose and you go, and you clear. And I just cleared all the way up for like, you know, for like 15, 20 minutes. I'm sitting there clearing about every five minutes. Um, but it was it was it was fine. I was okay. The Mucinex really helped because it, it that shit works. And and uh, I guess a doctor was concerned and um, wrote. You to you know you wouldn't prefer it for you to go to work or for the next two days, right? Because right, yeah, I couldn't go I to mean, work for the next two days. I got a note. Yeah, good. That's good. I mean, I, I have a note. I mean, it, it's important that right. if you are ill, that you shouldn't go to work. Right. Um. And in an unrelated story, so you're at GaryCon. Yes. And- <laughs> <laughs> it's it has now... nothing to do with any of the rest of that stuff, right? So you just <laughs> yeah. Right. So <laughs> did you go to did you go to sleep? What? Did you go to sleep? Just went to bed early that night, or did you walk over? You didn't go to his party, but you walked around. <sighs> no, I went to bed. For, I went to bed at a reasonable time. I, I was probably in bed by midnight. Okay, so the one thing that I remember, it, uh, what's his name? It, not Jason J. God, what's his name from Dead Game Society? Um, what's his name? Oh, Chad. Chad. So all I can remember is Chad being drunk off his ass when we got in after Frank's party when we were there. So, oh, I yeah. mean, what was Chad like as you're coming into the because that's always like he's almost like a welcome wagon. Right. Yeah, he was he was uh, he was Chad, you know, <laughs> right? not too bad, though. But we didn't really see him that much. It was just kind of like hi. And then he kind of like he like, I don't know, he, he fucking Mary Poppins down to there. Uh, all right, yeah, so uh, Chad, uh, the welcome wagon. Yeah. Um, the what's Gary up? Wagon. What happens? Just uh... <laughs> now, all right, so let's let's go to let's go to the next day. So next day is Thursday. Um, that was when I had my two games. So I got up in the morning uh, and I ran uh, Pulpier and I ran. Um, Top secret. And both those games went really well. And it was cool. That day was pretty uneventful. Um, you know, I just I just ran the games and it was fine. I can't remember if James it was if it was Thursday for James or Friday for James. So I'm just gonna say it now. So this could have been Thursday or Friday, doesn't matter. One of the guys at his table at his top secret game, one of the guys at the top secret game, uh, was angry about the Kickstarter being late. Now it is not that late. As Kickstarters go. It's like, I don't know, maybe two months late. But Jason has been keeping everybody updated on everything. He even gave them this tracking thing so they could track the boat as it comes across the water. He's been completely transparent on this whole process. And, you know, it's just that you know that your shit just takes forever to get from China. And it doesn't matter how you predict it. It's like China's like, nah, we'll just take a little longer. So, um, so this guy was sitting at the table and he's all pissed off about the Kickstarter. And, and he's giving James shit before the game. So, you know, James thinks he's resolved it with the guy. You know, he thinks it's smoothed it, over, smoothed it over with the guy. He says, you know, he's like, you know, it's coming, blah, 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 blah. So they start playing the game, and this motherfucker just starts tanking James's game on purpose. He starts playing, like, fucking killing just people indiscriminately, poisoning people, like, just, just fucked up shit, like, totally tanking the game. Yeah, I mean, a, a total troll. Right, he trolled it. That's, that's a good, that's it. He trolled, he trolled James's game. And then James was all pissed off. I mean, like he he was so fucking mad. He was just like, "Fuck it, I'm ready to go home. Fuck this con, right?" I mean, he he went into he went into Mopey Mopson's uh, ville, and <laughs> Mopey McMoperton, right? And I had to talk him down off the off the cliff, man. He was all. I mean, I understand. He was all kinds of pissed off. Like I think he would have punched that guy if if he could have. Uh, I told him I was like, "Dude, man, you should just told that motherfucker." To, Hit the yeah. hit the bricks, you know, and he's like, "Yeah, but I don't want TSR to look bad and stuff." I was like, "Dude, hey, you want to look bad? You've been fine." You know yeah, what, yeah, Scott? I, it's Scott Lego says the new top secret. Yes, the new top secret. Yeah. Oh, I just I answered him too. Okay. Um, oh, you, okay. So, I I just would have been like this. I mean, he's got he's got a quorum at his table. I would have given up to the table. Hey, maybe it's me, 
but I kind of feel like you're being a douche. Do I need to, what would we as a group like to do to have, to continue having fun? Do we want to just kill him off now so he can go away? Or do we want to, you know, just, I need some feedback because I want this to be enjoyable for everyone. But he probably just, he was so burned out. He wasn't even thinking, right? Right. And, and, and you know, I think he caught him off. I think the guy caught him off guard. You yeah. know what I mean? Like he wasn't expecting that. He's thinking, you know, yeah. people, I'm bringing the game. It's the first time that the box is opened, you know, and people are getting to see the, the, the real deal and getting to play the game and everybody's happy about it. And all the people that signed up for the game obviously want to see it. And then, <laughs> you know, you got this fucking dickhead shows up and uh, it's just starting to give him shit, you know? I, oh, I wish he'd have called me. I'd have come drug the guy right out the goddamn chair. <laughs> I don't. God. Oh man, like Jonathan's like, whoa! How about they cancel the guy's pledge and refund his money and blacklist him from backing any future TSR starters? I will tell you a funny story about that. There is a guy. There is a guy that was giving Jason a bunch of shit, and this might have been the same fucking guy, right? J Jason basically did that to him. He said, "Here's your money back." Don't call me. Don't call us anymore. <laughs> it's funny. God, I mean, how butthurt can you get over something like that? Well, I think I think the one guy that Jason was talking about, he wanted the PDF ahead of time. He's like, well, we got to wait for the game. Can we have the PDF? And Jason was like, no, I don't want anyone to see any of it until everyone gets to see it. I'm being, you know, he's like, I want it to be all a big reveal for everyone. And the guy, that's what the guy was all butthurt about. You know, he's just like, well, I can't have my PDF now. Mm, I want my PDF now. I mean, you know. was this guy, that guy that Jason was talking to was at the con too? Or was this no, something? No, we, 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 we suspect that that might have been him, maybe. Well, I mean, but the only thing I would have sure. thought is if you are at this con right now and you are a uh, backer, then we would let you just look at it. You can look through the book. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, like if you would like to do that, then that's fine. But short of that, oh, James was letting people look at the stuff. He was okay. letting people look at the book. He was signing books. Uh, uh, Jason didn't bring any of the boxes with him because, you know, the box is a good size to it. It costs a lot of money to bring, you know, mm -hmm. fly that yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. out. And then what if he flies it out, you know, and like half the people don't show up to Gary Con and he's got all these boxes he has to ship back. And then he loses every bit of profit he made on it because there's not a big, not a whole lot of profit margin yeah. on these things. So anyway, so that was that. All right. That, so you know. yes, there, there, there are, uh, there, there is douchery among role players. We all know that. I mean, you know, douche, douches come in all shapes and sizes because, well, uh, yeah. fill in the blank. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, so, oh my gosh! Uh, Paul Cooley just liked liked us our video, so I don't Yay. know if he's watching or if he just kind of popped in and liked and left. Because you know I do that too. But hey, love you, Paul. Don't um, drive by. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so all right, uh, what else happened? So oh, so we ran the hunt. So so James was, okay. James had a hunt right. event, and uh, you know he's running it, and he was and he was kind of burned out. James, you got to remember. James was burning out, man. He was this, this guy really set him off. So this the hunt event was after that. So I was like, dude, I'm gonna come to the hunt event with you. I'll help you run it. I'll help you. you yeah. know, it'll, I'll help take any burden off of you. And we ran a fucking another epic hunt game. This game, the cool. the hunt is so much fun. Um, and this one had a TPK. Everyone died. Everyone. Wow. The the they they killed the fox. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of who killed him because it was it was. It was pretty epic. I think Jason. Jason did. Jason played in the game, and okay. uh, he he killed the fox at, at the same time the fox killed him. And then I don't know. And it, it, when the game was done, there were no pieces left on the board. Every piece was off. Oh, so Pete, in case anyone who's watching now or later is curious, what the hell is the hunt? Just give a really quick synopsis oh, that it, okay. it because it's going to be sold by TSR soon. So. Oh, it is. No, it is sold by TSR. Well, that what you said. Right, it's it's basically the Running Man. So it's a skirmish match, much like like sing, playing Battle Tech or or Car Wars or whatever. You have a character, but it's not like a it's not really like a real person. It's not somebody you play on a campaign. Um, you have stats and you have weapons and you have armor and stuff. Uh, but you put this character in the maze in, in like whatever maze that you set up. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of other you know, however many other players you have. And then you hunt criminals and you hunt each other. Um, and then you get you get scored points on everything that you do. 
And the crazier the shit you do, the more entertaining it would be for like a reality TV type of thing, the more points you get. You know, so blatant disregard for personal safety, you know, killing somebody, blowing somebody up. They all have different points and stuff. And the object of the game is to get points, not to survive. So like it's quite often that the person who wins the game doesn't even survive. When we played it at Total Con, we had like this big 15 uh, person game and there was a team of four because they decided they were going to, you know, like, no, we only need four you all and um they actually won because they they really were just crazy and uh they all died like actually didn't they die about two-thirds of the way into the game and still freaking yeah. with all the points Yo, they that's had? what i was gonna say so and when at uh gary con you guys did you run a three-player team event as well or just ran the one hunt Table no, it was match. just a one. No, it was just a okay, regular right. game. They had because had, I would have loved. I wish you guys would have ran that three-player table event there because it would have been so awesome to see how that did at Gary Con. Because forty-seven thousand points is probably, I'm not going to say unprecedented, but uh, it's it's pretty good for a team good. that hey. totally killed themselves. We did we did change one thing. It's you know, like when somebody gives a speech or does something says something funny, we decided not to do the two hands because it's so much harder to count. Oh yeah. Because yeah. one, two, three, blah, 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 trying to count up all those points. Um but that worked out good. That was really fantastic. And then you know, there was so that's that's pretty much it for games. Um, you know, Jason ran some top secret with Merle and, and Alan and and they went really well and they gave people gave out, you know, lanyards and um, you know, people had a good time. They really enjoyed it. Awesome. All right. So we're doing a quick commercial because Paul actually jumped in the room. He's on a phone call or whatever. He's trying to deal with some shit. But you guys got to check out Paul Cooley. If you haven't heard of him, he is an awesome author. Uh, he His uh, series, The Black and the uh, – oh, God, because, you know, Derelict. I'm blanking. Derelict. And, um, well, there's the Black series. What is the – it's the Black, the – the black outbreak and um, outbreak and shit. I'm drawing a blank now too. Yeah, shit. <laughs> so whatever. Sorry, Paul. So there's three. <laughs> Who expected of them fourth, you to be here anyway? <laughs> a fourth one coming soon. Uh, he's got derelict out. Uh, he's got three books for that. They're Space Marines, um, and, and I know I know fourth and a fifth is coming. Um, right. right now he's he's streaming his. Um, his uh, uh, Garaga series, uh, not Garaga. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Paul. Not Garaga. He's doing Flames right now, which became um, became something else. It was called Flames, and then he changed the name to something else, which I can't remember off the top of my head because I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Children of Garaga, Closet no, Gares, Treats. Gares in, sorry, Gares Inferno. Gares Inferno. And he has Closet Treats. He has a whole bunch of books. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Sorry, Paul. Wow. I'm, I'm a little hey, cooked. Hey, Paul, you you came into our show and just brought it to a dead stop. Actually, right. it's probably oh, the street. even better Oh, now. Jonathan. Yeah, the street, but that's hard to get a hold of now. Oh, I know. If you don't have the street, you are shit out of luck because it's probably – well, I'm not going to say it's his best work, but it is extremely awesome. So <laughs> And and Scott Pond does the artwork for the street and for a lot of Paul's I think books. all of his books. I think yeah. almost, almost all of them have been Scott Pond. All right. But, uh, okay, so uh, commercial's over. Go check out Paul Cooley. He's just awesomeness. Yeah. Um, you ran you ran the game. You ran the hunt. Uh, it was cool. Now, what is it? Uh, is that Friday night? Thursday night. Sure. It Thursday was a Friday. Night. It was so, all right. Uh, so there are things that are going on at that night later. I mean, it's just... I want you to have the opportunity just uh, as you're thinking about it. Was there any um, remarkable frivolity or tomfoolery or shenanigans? Um, that you not really. About? I mean, there, there wasn't anything really crazy. Um, I, I did hang out with Roan Barton a little bit. Uh, the Okay. The, First night that he got there, he was pretty sober, and we were talking for a while, you know, bullshitting for a while. And then, uh, but the next night, which I know was Saturday night because it was our last night there, Roan was fucking trashed. I mean, he was like, he's like, <laughs> he was a Chad, right? It was awesome. Um, so, I, so was that a good time to get um, some information out of him about the project he was? No, 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 no. It, it's just well, there's things that are there's things that are known. Like Sean Aston is on the project. Uh, Wesley yeah. Snipes is about to sign. He's trying to get him to sign. Um, I don't know what Wesley Snipes has to do with role playing games. I guess he's a role player. Who knew? 
but um, he's yeah, going to be involved right. in it, so it's good. That's when good. he's not, you know, when he's not uh, evading taxes, but well, no, yeah, you know, peace out. I mean, I understand there, it's Wes, but uh, yeah. all right, so he's he's <laughs> anyway. in a role playing too. Good. So he's there, very excited to come on, and I told Paul, I said, you know, or not Paul? God damn it! No, <laughs> I was reading the comments. There's Paul. I was telling Roan. I said. I said, uh, I said, you know, if uh, you guys, could, you know, you and Lou come on, you can, I mean, if you want to bring somebody else on too, I mean, there's a lot of people involved in this project, you know, if Sean Aston wanted to come on, I wouldn't say no, yeah. you know, we're Wesley you Snipes. Know, and they're, pff, yeah. It's just like the other night, you know, I'm in bed with my girl, Paul Cooley. Oh, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you named your hand? Yeah, that's right. C O O L. Oh, anyway. <laughs> E Y got to be a six fingered man. Holy oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you think the six fingered man? All right, never mind. No, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> not gonna do it. Not gonna I do. It. do. The answer is I do. Yes. Right. Okay. So, all right. All right. Give himself so, a shocker uh, while he's. No, so, I'm sorry. You know, everyone <laughs> should check that out. What is the? You know, offhand, because uh, off the top of my head, which is pretty flat and bald right now, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, their project, their their gaming, their their thing. Can't remember. All right, good. So, um, but you should check out Roan Barton and and what? Lou Agresson? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I can't. I know the name of it. Like, if you said it, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, that's right." But I can't, I can't think of it right now. It's, it's a space game. It's it's going to be a futuristic kind of space game. They're going to come on this show to talk about it, so it's all going to be good. Um, I also ran into BJ Hensley. Uh, you know, for, that's the first time I've ever met her in person. What's um, her name? B.J. Hensley, we've done, oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. you know, we've done some stuff with her for Mythwits. Uh, she's had some people come on. I think she was, and I know she was on Game School with us. Um, oh yeah, oh, oh, Game School. We I sat Teen Phoenix. So uh, Aranda sat Teen Phoenix. She was nice. super super nice. She's looking great. Um, really happy. She's got some good news that she can't tell us. Um, oh. She apparently she's cut some deal and she's got something really big coming up next week, but she can't talk about it yet. I'm sure she will announce it during that time, and we will, you know, we'll put it out there too. All right, um, I will. I'll try and remember to tweet at her. I've been, I've been on the Twitter today. So uh, everyone who isn't following our Twitter account, I have resolved to be more Twitter uh, active. And one of the things I'm going to do is every day I'm going to a website, um, and if there's something else that pops up, that's fine. Um, that I want to talk about instead, but I'm going to tell you what every day is um, for a national whatever day, okay? Like, if you go to our Twitter account today, today was National Napping Day, which is always after um, Daylight Savings, evidently. Uh, it is National... Uh, what the hell else was it? National uh, Girl Scout Day and National Plant a Flower Day. So... I just gave it, and and what I'll do is I'll just say which one I'm picking that I like the best, and we can all vote and chat on it or whatever. But um, it would make my um, psyche very happy if people would, uh, if if you see me tweet something out, because <clears throat> I pretty much it'll be when it's Studio One of these, or I mean, God damn it, when it's Mythwits, I know, right? <laughs> when it's Mythwits uh, sending stuff out uh, or Ether Ether Forge, um, Ether. <laughs> uh, it'll be me anyway for the most part. So okay. uh, interact with me. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, um, props and uh, big ups to Brian Olvera, who I chatted with today on Twitter as well. Um, so he would love to come back on the show just for a visit and, and sure. uh, talk with us. So we'll have we'll that. have him on too. I miss old Bri Bri. I know. I know. So, all right. So it, uh, I know we're not like, well, we're running up a little bit on time as far as um, – you know want to get the game in as well yeah. but uh so what uh, just final or whatever remarks or uh other other stories oh the thing about james that was the story that i had oh. to put a pin in right yeah well i told it that was the thing the guy okay. pissing right. him off yeah yeah the other pins right. out. yeah yeah um you know i, I played we played a game with a new friend of ours, and I can't, again, can't think of his name right now. I got to apologize, everybody. I'm so freaking burned out. I barely took any notes for the show this today. I, I, I just, I'm just. My, that's all right. That, that's why we're just, you know, stories, uh, stories are yeah. coming up. Whatever, right. whatever. Uh, I can't Tom remember Fulbury his name. comes to He's mind. A new friend of mine uh, from, from, uh, from Gary Khan. He, uh, he had a card game. Uh, I do know it's uh, Follow Me and Die is the name of the game. 
and it's a podcast that he has, so go check that out. I think it's a podcast or a video series, something like that. But he's um, he's got this game where you you build troops, and uh, <laughs> I just thought of something funny I can't talk about. Anyway, so you build troops, and like when you build the troops, you can like you get officers and you get heroes. And <laughs> anyway, it's like kind of like a Gen Rummy thing. So if you get four troops and an officer, you can you can put it down as a unit. Uh, if you get four heroes, you can put that down as a unit, and you can replace a hero with an officer. Anyway, so it was that, we're playing that game with him, and he's got these like monster cards and hazard cards, you know, like your ship sinks or your, I don't know, you know, a dragon is a monster, and they all have values. Everything has values on them, like you know, one one through ten, and he uh, he's like, I don't really know what to do with the monster cards yet, or the other. He's like, they're going to do something, and I'm like, why don't you attack the units? And he was like, like a light. Totally changes games. Right, that's what they do now, and we played it. And he was like, "Oh my god, this totally fixes it, right?" And it was, it was just, it was so cool. <laughs> but what's what's important about that is, it's not that I'm a genius. I'm just an outside perspective guy. He's right. probably been working on this thing for some time, and it just the thing that should have been a hundred percent clear to him wasn't. But because he's 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 entrenched yeah. in it, he's so deep in it, right? Yeah. Right. And all it took is talking with another game designer for like fucking 30 seconds and it totally fixed the one like hang up he had and he and it he's like and I agree it made his it totally that's it that's the game the game is now it's ready to go all right first of all well second of all I don't want you to sell yourself short okay that that thing holding your glasses up around you know around your head it, it does more than just hold a hat okay I mean you know Genius might be a little strong, but you're you're an intelligent, well thought, you know, guy. So I, I just want you to take some credit for that, you know. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, welcome. but it was it was it was yeah, okay. It was cool. Just uh, I, I I love doing that kind of shit. You know that. You know, I love talking games with people and like coming up with shit. I it's great. Uh so anyway, so we're gonna have some people on the show. We're gonna have Eric Frankhouse, he wants to come on the show. Uh Lou Lou and uh Roan are gonna come on the show. Um, Mike Merles and um, uh, Alan Hammock are going to come on the show. Uh, oh, there's this guy, the Geek Preacher. We're going to get him on the show. It's pretty cool. He's, he's so he's religious, right? And he, and he is a preacher. He does services and stuff, but he's um, he tries to do things like to relate with um, with the gaming world and how how you know I don't know how it applies with religion or how you can apply religion to it and not in the way like I can play Jesus in my game not like that it's more on a conceptual level type of things and um, Jason said that he you know he he talks to people in the gaming industry and stuff and and gives advice he's got you know he's like a pretty good therapist and stuff and so anyway I thought it'd be cool to bring him on he might be he'd, oh. you know, he'd be a fun guest to have on that, that really sounds like it'll be a really fun no no no, no. Show. I met dude no I met him he's actually really cool it was really right. good I really can't good. wait. Um, oh, and really quick, I want to show this off. I scored this. I finally got my own copy for the first time in my life. Nice. The Car Wars, and I got the ex the arenas and this other expansion thing, right? Are arenas too. Electric Boogaloo. Whole thing, thirty bucks. I'm so happy. Cool. I love Car Wars. Car Wars is like one of my favorite games. You played Car Wars, didn't you? I have played uh, before, yes. But I'll say that I, since you're showing up stuff, I just want to show off that that I got joking hazard and oh, I am nice. like dying to play it. So nice. We gotta, yeah, that's good. Gotta fuck, fuck around with that one sometime. Um, all right. So anything remarkable on the ride home or. Um, no, it was pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. I rode home with the, the me and James and, and, and Michael and John and the God Damn, I can't remember his name, but I know him. I can see him. He was sitting right next to me, and I know his name. I'm sorry. I know you. I just can't pull that name from the ether. But anyway, uh, I rode home with them. It was fantastic. They dropped me. Off. They dropped James off. They took me down, dropped me off, and then they had to drive all the way back to the airport. Like So they went to oh, O'Hare, wow. dropped James off because when his flight was mm -hmm. going out. Then they dropped me off at Midway, and then they drove back to O'Hare. Because their wow. plane wasn't going out for a couple hours. Oh, that's and cool. That was, that's that's nice, though. I mean, that was yeah, super cool. Yeah. It's it's nice because we're the type of people that would have done the same thing. So it's nice to have something like that reciprocated, right? Yeah, no, totally. And I mean, we and have I, done that actually. Yeah. Oh, I got one more story. Sorry. One right, more before story. you start that, yeah. Nicole. Yes, I'm going to bring it to Balticon. So go ahead. Oh, right, cool, fantastic. We'll play it at Balticon. Um, I got one more story. So. 
it was Saturday night. James turned 50, right? So James turns oh. 50 at midnight on Saturday night, right? James and I are fucking burned out. We're both on the same plate on this. We're just like, we are done. <laughs> He's like, I was in the room. It was 10 o'clock at night. I was in the room watching TV. I was like, I've had it, uh-huh. right? James calls me up. He's like, hey, man, it's, you know, it's my birthday and everything. He's like, I, I was kind of sitting in my room too, but let's go um, let's get out of the bar and have one drink for my birthday. Uh, right? And that's what we did. Drink. Gotcha. Right, Mike? With the old that, one. That's like, that's the hook for right. one drink. <laughs> right. And that's what we did, right? That's yeah. how, And then we went back to our beds, right? Oh, really? You did? No. No. Yeah. Oh, so oh, we got yeah. down there. Um, we got down there and we had a beer. And then uh, one of Jeff Tulaney. You know Jeff Tulaney in? Yeah. I spent a lot of time with him this weekend, too. Cool. But uh, we're down there. One of his friends, who James knows, comes over and he's like talking to James and shit. And uh, he like disappears for a second, comes back with shots. And I'm like, oh, I don't do shots, but okay. Um, it's this new shot that I can't remember the name of it, but it's 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 uh, you take gin and you chill it and put bitters in it. And normally I'm not a gin person, but it was pretty good. It's pretty okay. good. Um, so I had a shot uh, and then more beers came because it was James' birthday because more people started pull, piling right, in. Right, yeah. Yeah, because it's James' birthday. Right. So next thing you know, I'm not going to go too much. Jeff comes in. Jeff Tulane comes in. He's hanging out with us. We're talking shit, you know, and it's all these people. Jason comes down. Sateen comes down. It's like, it's like, it's like this magnet. Everybody's like, like we're in the gravity well and everybody's like orbiting and all of a sudden they were there. And Next thing you know, I'm looking at my phone and it was like 155, right? Oh, I'm like 155. Yeah, no, it's nothing. Of course not, but it's daylight savings time, you see. And I look at the guy sitting next to me and I go, "Fuck, it's three o'clock." And he's like, "No, it isn't. It's only 150." I was like, "Yeah, watch this magic trick." No, it's not. Right. <laughs> it went from 159 to three. And he was like, oh, shit. I was like, yep, it's 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Got to get up at 7 o'clock to get on the plane tomorrow. That's fine. Four hours of sleep after I've been drinking for five hours when I wasn't going to drink at all. <laughs> Good stuff. God damn All it. right. Well, that's good. All right, that's glad, it. That's all I got. I'm glad you guys had a good time. I'm glad that you are, you know, there were people that were able to share in James's birthday. Yeah. Um, Scott, Happy birthday, you gotta, James. You Happy 50. One out. Pour one out for uh, James is for James too. Come on, he deserves it. You know, right. put the put the t-shirt cannon down for a second, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey everybody, shit. enjoy you know this gloriousness. It's gone after tonight. <laughs> David kept asking, and I don't know. Does anyone? Did, can you mention anything about Pathfinder 2.0? I have no nothing. I know nothing. No. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I asked. Sorry, buddy. I'm not. Yes, I'm not uh, one of those cool kids. Although I did talk to Mike Merles for like five seconds. I don't even. He's not involved in that. And I did talk to the Pathfinder guy too, and I can't remember his name. Paul, it was a con. It's a Gary con for Gary Gygax. It's the tenth yeah. con in Lake Geneva. Just so you know. Um. All right. Are we ready for the game? Yeah. Let's do that. All right. Hold on. All right. I'm just gonna switch over, and I'll yeah. I'll, I'll put it on you, and you can read it. You're you're Mike Cafus. The blah blah blah. All right. Ready. Go. Oh. Hi. I'm Mike Cafus. I'm supposed to read something for the game, so there's nothing here on the show doc, so I'll just say we're going to play a game, and today's game is going to be... (laughs) What fucking game are we playing? (laughs) What's game? We're going to play Bet the Geek, but it's going to be me betting against Pete, and Pete is... because All right, this is Pete's game, right? Pete created Cuba Death, so I have gone through, and I've, I've gotten some questions, some questions that I know the answers to, and some questions that I do not know the answers to. And we're just going to tweak it a little bit because everyone knows how much I love to just tweak rules, right? I'm a, I'm a rules tweaker, right? Yeah. I'm, just a, I'm just a rules tweaker. I so, you were a twinker. No, sorry. Yeah, whatever. So um, Pete will hear the question um, genre, and he will place his bet on whether he'll get the answer right or wrong. Before I even get the question. Before he gets – it's his game. You know, this is his – this is the curve, the skew for him, because, you know, I'm, I'm sure everyone's thinking, oh, great, Pete's going to win because it's his game. Well, there are how many questions now? Over a thousand or so questions? Oh, my God. It's a hundred pages on eight and a half by 11 yeah. paper. So it's a lot of questions. And uh, you certainly I know that you do not know all of these. I know you oh, picked one specifically no. that you do not know and rarely look at. I did try and find some of those, but 
you never know. You will also, a rule tweak, is that you have two passes. I will just say, for instance, this is a science question. You may say, pass, go to the next one, okay? Right. There are nine. You have nine. There are nine, okay? <laughs> nine, okay? You have nine chances, but you may uh, wave two for seven. Um, so here we go. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Ready as I'll be. All right. That's the, that's the answer. All right. I got to move this over here for the question. So, um, Jonathan, not... it will not be my little pony questions. Not going to be that. Damn it. You know what? That would have been great too. Oh, well, oh, sorry. God. Um, all right, here we go. Um, the first question ironically is a science question. I'll take it. You will take it, and you will bet for, against, and the amount. <sighs> oh, God damn it. Please don't be the laser question. Please don't be the laser question. Um, I'm going to say yes, and it's a science question, so I'm, uh, I'm going to say three. All right, yes for three. I went yes for two. All right. Um, um, you know what? Well, because I already know the question, too, but uh, here we go. Without, so I'll, I'll, I'll bet at the same time. How's that? No, right. you, you need to bet after me because if you think I know it, that's going to skew me. Let, I have to bet first. Okay, that's fine. Because you'll mess with me if you if you bet. All right. I'm not okay. betting yet. So. Okay. <clears throat> no, no, Don't you look. bet, but wait till my bet goes in. Yes. Okay. The moon has roughly what fraction of the Earth's gravity? That would be one-sixth the Earth's gravity. One-sixth. Because it's half the, half the density of Mars. That is correct. That is correct. You are up by one, my friend. Very good. Okay. Um, next question will be, and I cannot see the chat room, so if you want, you can monitor the chat room if you want, Pete. I am, but, um, but I'm going to let it scroll past so they don't... They don't oh, yeah. Okay. That's smart, too. So okay. yeah. chat, chat amongst yourselves. We won't be able to make anything. We'll go back uh, after the fact and, and laugh at anything people said funny. Stop looking! <laughs> All right, here we go. 90s cable sci-fi. 90s cable sci-fi? Yes, I actually enhanced some of the specifics. Okay. All right. Just to be a little bit of a dude. Yes, 90s cable sci-fi. I'm going to say yes. And you know, I'm going to say yes for 3 cuz I have a I have a feeling I know which this one what what category this is actually going to be like what genre. Well, just for shits and giggles and because I I obviously can't change it. What, what do you think it is? A little Farscape question coming. Oh, a little Farscape. A little Farscape, huh? But I, but Go I'll down to yes Farscape. For, yeah, yes yeah, for it might three. Be. However, yeah, sometimes yeah, something may be confusing to you, so I will ask you, what is the Farscape word for frack? That would be frell. That would be frell. And I already placed my bet, too. So I had said yes. And you said yes for three? Yeah, I did. I did. All right. My man. All right. Sweet. All right. All right. Uh, I promise you that maybe these will get harder. <laughs> 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 Look, who knows? Look, I, I pick some easy ones and I pick some hard ones. So, you know, I'm not trying to be a total dick, right? All right. Yeah, let's go. Come on. All right. Bring here it. we go. 3D animated movies. Ooh, ooh, you know I feel I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling quite Randy tonight. Not Randy, my brother Randy. Randy is in Frisky. I'm gonna say yes for three. I think I can get this one. Yes for three, and I'm just gonna game theory this one for the hell of it. I'm allowed to bet against you now, right? Yeah, you can bet against me whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'm gonna say no for three. Oh shit! Uh oh, now I'm scared. No, not necessarily. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that. But you can see me in the dock too, so that sucks. All right. Um, who eventually winds up owning Woody, Buzz Lightyear, and the gang? Bonnie. Bonnie. I don't know her last name, but it's Bonnie. I'll give you. The, I'll give it to you. God darn. All right. All right. Bonnie. Her name was Bonnie Anderson. Mister Anderson is Neo's. Uh, Neo's sister, daughter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, you got that one right, and I got that one wrong. So uh, I did scramble. You. Hey, hey, I can do this in between. I can do this in between questions because they're not giving it away. But Jonathan okay. said, "What kind of broad category is '90s fucking cable sci-fi?" <laughs> <laughs> Shh. 
shut up. All right. <laughs> All right. And Jonathan cried buckets when Bonnie got the, the yeah, Jonathan. Yeah. There might have been some dust in the room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. All dust. right. Um 80s live action fantasy movies. Ooh. See. That could be Krull or Conan or uh Sword and a Sorcerer. That's that's good stuff. So I'm gonna say uh Hell, I'm going all in. Fuck it. Yes for three. All right. Yes for three. Again, I I, I got to catch up. So uh, I got to game this one. And I got to hope that you don't know this. Uh, and before we start, I want you to know something, Peter. That's it. I paid $12 to buy, and it is in my movie collection now. And I am ashamed to say this, but I... <laughs> Yes, I bought yes. Flash Gordon because I promised Pete, everyone, and I'm making this promise to you too, within a show or two, I will have a special game for Pete where he will have to answer Flash Gordon trivia questions. And they are going to be of Simpson level. Yeah. Because uh, he has promised me that he he watches it. He watches it all the time. It's his favorite movie. So I'm digging deep. It's one so, of my favorites. Uh, one of my I, favorites. So I, I have. I had to bite it. Oh, God. I watched like three seconds of it, and I'm like, oh, my God. It's going to be like watching The Room. No. 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 <laughs> no. See this? See this? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, hi, Flash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, your hi, next Flash. All right. Uh, oh, shit. Did we... Uh... Oh, here's your question. Sorry. 80s live action fantasy movies. You've bet three. I bet you bet three. Yes, I bet three. No. The question is, what is the name of the dark storm in the never ending story? Put the camera on me. The nothing. Yes. Damn. I kept thinking that ah, maybe he won't know this one. You know, there's like eh, some confusing stuff. You don't like that shit. Yes, I know. Well, everyone knows these hands. Yes, right. Right. that's a that's an old that's a deep cut. Oh my God, Mythwits have deep cuts. Deep cuts. <laughs> that's right. All bitch. right. Yeah. All right. Okay. God damn. Well, I mean, you're you're definitely beating me, and you're on track to beat yourself, senseless. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, like like Scott Legault in his foundry. Just beat That's right. it. <laughs> That's right. Beat it like a sword. Beat it like a dark phoenix. All, All right. right. Um, your next question is, Dune. Dune. Oh, so you're gonna give me the you're gonna give me the oh oh right because I know the category Dune. Yeah. Oh, um, I know what I know. I never read the books. I've seen the movie and the sci-fi series that some people hate, but I liked. Uh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm gonna say yes for three. Hmm. It's like I'm not taking the bait. I'm not taking it. Yeah. <laughs> what a coincidence! I'm going yes for three as well. <laughs> I should get it wrong now on purpose just to tank your points even further. No, go ahead, go ahead. All right, in Frank Herbert's Dune. What is the name of the exclusive sisterhood whose members train their bodies and minds through years of physical and mental conditioning? The Bene Gesserit. God damn it. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Did I say I forgot most of these questions? Yeah. Now you're And you're pulling from the dock, right? You're not pulling from my cards. Dude. Let me tell you what I did. All right, th this is how honest these questions are. I literally put my mouse on like, you know, uh, infinity scroll. Cause I have a, uh, you know, whatever, one of those mice I can do that. And it's just like, I went and I closed my eyes and it was just like, stop. Okay. Do that one. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got what? We got one more. No, we got a couple more. We got a couple more. Oh, how many um, well, we can do one more. We can do, definitely do one more. All right. Oh, actually I'll tell you what. 
no, you can't pick from these. This is <laughs> this is your last time. This is your last question. Okay. The other two can be just be bonus questions for the shit of it. All right, that's cool. Tw Twilight. Oh. Twilight. Oh, do I get out of this with a perfect score? A perfect score meaning not getting this one and then saying I'm not going to get it because I'm not going to get it, but I might get it. Yeah. Or well, was Mike a total dick and made the last three like completely fucking impossibly hard? Twilight. See, I don't like Twilight at all. Um, really the only like, thing dude. that I know about Twilight is what I researched for the game. Um, do you know what? Yes for three. Why not? All right. Yes for three. And I'm going to say no <laughs> for three. Just because Just to... it's only 12 to 25 anyway. So what the fuck? <laughs> right. All right, let's go. All right. <clears throat> what is the age difference between Isabella Swan and Edward Cullen? Jesus. Yeah, he's like fuck 400 and she's like 17, 16. Oh, God, that's like just there's got to be laws against that. Uh, 16. I'm just going to say I think he's 400 and I think she's 17. So uh, I'm going to do a little math in my head. 393, 83, 3, 383 years. 86 years. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. because who knew that? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking Twilight. Uh, Nicole, Nicole probably knew it. No yeah. offense, Nicole. Oh, she said, <laughs> I am ashamed to say I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, hey, look. Hey, look. I can't really, honestly, I cannot say anything to anyone because we just had a discussion about how much I love Flash Gordon. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Whatever, Nicole. Oh, you, oh and I, I sent this to Pete, and this was awesome today. So, if anyone is really interested and in, has any curiosity about Tommy was was say was how we yo was say oh whatever the f however you pronounce wow wow if you have any curiosity he just dropped something new in into the um I don't know the the, the interspheres uh right. he dressed up like the Joker and tried to basically I guess it's like auditions to be the next Joker and so if you just go to uh YouTube and just search for Tommy Wasau uh Joker. You're welcome. Right. And I'm sorry. So why uh, so serious, Mike? Why so <laughs> <laughs> like okay and we're ready. He's like ah like, uh, thing yet, dude. We we yeah. right. <laughs> fucking train oh, wreck. God. All right. Guys. All right, so last two questions real quick. Greek mythos. Which titan was the champion of mankind who stole from Zeus? Prometheus. That is correct. Very good. Video games. And you have a shot at this. Actually, I would bet that you know this. In the single-player mode of Call of Duty Black Ops, what is the goal of the first mission, Operation 4-0? Uh, to get Fidel Castro. To, to get him? Was it to save him? Do... do, do... <laughs> Um, so I need a, I, I need a, a context. Uh, there's a mission. You go to Q, we go back in time. Yeah, you, to gotta Cuba. Get, you gotta get, you gotta get, are, are you talking about, you got, you gotta get him or you gotta get him. I need to know get, get or get. I think it's get, I think you gotta kill him. That is correct. Okay. All right, man, dude, you, uh, minus one ran the board. <laughs> nice. So, nice. Good all right. Deal. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so we obviously know that random chance, you, you are better than random chance at your own game. That, that, oh yeah. Oh, Jonathan posted it in the chat room. Oh dude. Oh my God. Oh, he's, he's a fucking mess. He's such a mess. Beautiful mess. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right, everybody. Let's say hey, that was trolling. Hey Mike, let's wrap it up. I, I yes. got nothing else interesting to say about Gary Khan. It was a good time. If you should ever, um, if you should ever get a chance to go, uh, it's it's a it you know go do it, go do it. It's a good time. Yes. So uh, right. I'm, I'm pinning that to the top. What the hell? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, let's do let's this do this thing. And then no, no, I got, it, I got it. I got it right here. Let's do the thing. Let's go. Boing. Right. No, that didn't do it. Oh, no. 
That did it, right? No. Why is, oh, it's working. Ha! All right, everybody. Uh, you've just enjoyed another awesome episode of The Mythwood. Sorry, I had it on another screen. I couldn't see what I was doing. Uh, we're live on Facebook Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Most nights, not tonight because my computer decided to be a jerk. Uh, please ask uh, guest questions or just banter with the other Mythfits. We had a ton of them uh, tonight. If you miss our live show, you can always catch the Encore episodes on Facebook or on YouTube. Find us on Facebook and Twitter as Mythwits and check out Mythwits.com. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast so you can wait for me to fucking put up another episode like weeks on end via your favorite podcatcher or you can listen at mythwits.podbean.com when I get off my ass to put episodes up. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing whenever it's appropriate and make sure to share your favorite episode on social media to help spread Mythwits love over the entire planet. Look, Mike, I'll tell you, if we get more than 10 fucking podcast listeners, I will be more diligent about getting them on time, but god damn it, I am not killing well, myself for 10 people. <laughs> and, and you know what? We need help, man. We gotta spread the love, man. We gotta spread the love <laughs> too much. for people to be listening and downloading I'll, too. I'll, I'll get him. I'll get him. Uh, if, if you're listening to this now, it means you waited like a long time. But I'm sorry, it's coming. <laughs> Mythwits is part of the TSR Welcome. podcast. Welcome. <laughs> Podcast Network. Check out TSRPN.com for more cool shows. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Like and share with all the places. Just don't edit it, don't sell it, and don't hit it with an axe. Make sure to check out Studio 187. Oh, check out Aether Forge, Studio 187. I don't, whatever the fuck it is at this moment. For more Aether cool stuff. <laughs> Aether 187. Don't do that. That's not right. Uh, and join <laughs> our mailing list. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. Until next week, Mike. What? I did not. I didn't kill it. Oh, hi, Guy Gax. <laughs> All right. That's it. Oh, oh my God.